bitcoinsoul.org, S-E-O-U-L.org, the Asian Whale Club. If you need help investing Bitcoin, contact us. Okay, Bitcoin Cash, NEO, and Ripple. Oddly enough, Ripple. Okay, we're going to do a fundamental analysis from a uh, polyeconomic standpoint on those three coins mentioned. What's happening right now? Ripple um, just about doubled, doubled over the last couple of days uh, from its all-time low uh, until now. And there's some rumor about uh, Ripple in Korea and the Korean bank. So it's just about doubled. What's happening with uh, Bitcoin Cash? Bitcoin Cash has hit support twice now. Uh, right now it's sitting on top of the support um, buy zone. So I do recommend it's a good buy right now. And um, what's happening with NEO? NEO has been experiencing price suppression by whales for the last several days now. Uh, for days and days, the people that have invested in NEO are just like, are, are bleeding out, um, not money, just, just patience. Uh, you have to have the patience of a saint uh, to be a NEO shareholder right now. Okay. Having said that, the red coin pre-ICO lottery just closed. It's over. So you can't participate in the pre-ICO for, which is the very first ICO of NEO. Uh, you can't participate in the lottery anymore. That says something. That should tell you something right there. Okay. What's happening and what's going to happen? Okay, let's zoom out from the markets and actually see what's really happening everywhere else around. Because uh, once you get myopic, you're going to get blindsided and uh, hit in the side of the face with a choco pie. That, that's a cultural thing that didn't come across at all, did it? Okay, Wu Jihan, in an interview in Korea... With, with Korean translators said that while he was involved in making Bitcoin Cash as a, um, as a defense against uh, Segwit, Bitcoin Segwit and uh, 2X, that he's on the side of the core, that he's loyal and faithful to NYA, um, that he was not the one who actually pulled the trigger on making Bitcoin Cash happen, which is what's uh, partially sucking the life out of Bitcoin itself right now. He's saying that Via BTC was the one that brought Bitcoin Cash to life and that he wasn't involved, that he's just a, a third-party investor. Then he goes and sends a tweet, a public tweet, to Brian, uh, CEO of Coinbase, saying, hey, let's just let's destroy the value of uh, BCC, uh, Bitcoin Cash, or BCH. Uh, why don't you release the Bitcoin in your wallet to your sure, uh, to your Bitcoin holders in Coinbase. That would really d destroy Bitcoin Cash's value so that us loyal Bitcoin core people can actually thrive and, and have a great time. Do you believe that? All the while, while that's happening uh, on the Bitcoin Cash front, uh, which is a strong buy right now. Uh, the on the neo front, we do have strong price suppression at the tune of 50 BTC, and it's it's moving from 010 down. And remember, it was keeping the price of neo underneath the uh, underneath the resistance line. So from your perspective, it would look like I'm just going to do it from my perspective. It would look like this. It was keeping the price of NEO down here as it went down. Now, what it did was the the actual uh, resistance moved up enough to where NEO could spike, and now resistance went down again. So what's happening? NEO is uh, is bound. Resistance turned into support. NEO is bouncing on top of former resistance with new resistance up here now. So why is that? Uh, we already dealt with it in a previous uh, YouTube episode. Watch that YouTube episode if, you're, if you haven't seen it already because watching the rest of this video won't make much sense without watching that one video first. It's like trying to watch Better Call Saul without watching Breaking Bad first. And finally, we have Ripple. 
uh, which has increased just about double since its all-time low. And Ripple uh, is very opaque because it's B2B. And they've been making partnership deals. As you can see way back here a couple months ago in this article, they've already made partnership deals with major banks around the world. And are they about to make another major, even bigger deal with a Korean bank? Is that why price almost doubled? All of these facts, all these, all of these points of happening, um, may seem totally unrelated. They're not. They're rooted in one simple, singular fact. And on that note, I'm going to offer a really fat bounty to anyone who can find coin number three. I'll tell you what coin number three is in a second. Okay, so let's cut away from this scene and start a totally apparently unrelated scene where you're seeing Google and uh, Google Drive blocked in China, where you're seeing uh, Dropbox blocked in China, where you're seeing Amazon blocked in China. What's Google's... Um, alternative in China, uh, where you're seeing Twitter blocked in China. What's Twitter's alternative in China, where you're seeing um, WhatsApp, WhatsApp, um, Telegram blocked in China. What are, um, and I'll, I'll tell you what the alternative in China is, it's WeChat, everyone, everyone knows that, right? Where you're seeing Uber blocked in China, and I'll tell you what the Chinese equivalent to that is. It's DD. Where you're seeing Airbnb not blocked in China, but they had to change their name, and, and they're going to try and change their name again, uh, and they've made major concessions to the Chinese government. But Airbnb in its fundamental nature, is a global travel website, right? So you can't have a Chinese-only global travel website. That just doesn't make sense, right? So the Chinese government had to make concessions uh, to allow, and Airbnb had to make huge concessions, even changing its name, to penetrate the Chinese market. Are you see where I'm going with this? Um, excuse me, party leader. Uh, Bitcoin looks like it's really taking off. Oh, really? Okay, let's make a Chinese competitor. Uh, excuse me, Chinese Minister of Finance. I think Ethereum is really starting to take off. Oh, really? Let's make an Ethereum competitor. Now let's cut back to the scene where Jihan Wu is saying, hey, I had nothing to do with pulling the trigger on creating the existence, uh, allowing uh, mining pools to start signaling for Bitcoin Cash. I don't know anything about that. I'm just a third-party investor. I'm just a victim of all this. Um, maybe it was Roger Ver. Is that likely? In America, there's something called antitrust laws starting way back, what was it, 1800s, something like that, with the Sherman Act. Uh, Sherman was a congressman or senator who, who made sure that there was no competition in America so that industry could thrive. China doesn't have an antitrust act. China has a pro-trust policy. What's good for the party is good for China. If you if you go against that, even if you're a Hong Kong billionaire, even if you're a Hong Kong billionaire and there's oh, oh, what um, one country three laws or one country three or two uh, whatever the uh, expression is, we're going to talk to your female bodyguards and tell them, hey, we're from the Chinese central Chinese government, we're representatives of the party. You're going to want to step aside, ladies, and we're going to drug this man. Take him to Beijing and make sure that nobody knows where he is. Recently happened to a Hong Kong billionaire. At the macro industry level, there is no competition in China. There's competition in China in business at, at, at the street level, uh, as street vendor level. Are you getting a sense of what I mean by what's coin number three? 
China will not allow its Chinese yuan to flow outside of China. It hates when it happens to fund non-Chinese entities. Why would we do that when we can create our own Chinese version of everything that's actually popular and attract foreign investment into China? Which now brings us to Ripple. And the rumor is that Ripple and KakaoPay, which is very Korean, not Chinese at all, I wonder how this is related, Ripple is going to power KakaoPay's network. Hmm, interesting. How likely is, is that? And if it happens, how long will that likelihood last? How long will that partnership last? A little aside uh, about KakaoPay. Kakao is um, Korea's number one messaging app. It's really cute. And it, uh, messaging is really convenient. It works better than Telegram. It works better than, way better than WhatsApp. Um, it's prettier than Telegram and, and WhatsApp. I, I recommend that you download Kakao. I just do. It's, it's really, really cute. It's kind of like WeChat, uh, but it's more powerful. If you took... Um, if you took your favorite messaging app and added PayPal, just integrated PayPal seamlessly into, say, Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or Telegram, you'd end up with KakaoPay. And KakaoPay and Kakao Bank are virtual banks just like, yeah, just like PayPal plus your favorite messaging app. Kakao was actually the very first large-scale messaging app to use really big, cute emoticons. So what are some indicators that that actually might be happening, that Ripple might actually be partnering with Kakao? Ripple, a long time ago, it, it's been weeks and months now, that it was adopted, added on to the BitThumb exchange, the world's largest exchange by volume. And it's a Korean exchange. So that's an indicator, isn't it? But oddly enough, Monero, Ripple's competitor, was just just recently, what, what was it, two days ago, added to uh, to bit thumb. So then let's say it's true that it's happening. Uh, let's just mentally walk down that path, uh, strategically walk down that path. Why is it that if Ripple is going to be integrated into uh, Kakao, that, and you have to remember, at the highest levels in Korea, everybody knows everybody. Uh, the guy that owns uh, bit thumb exchange, he's connected to Jebel. He is Jebel. He's the guy that. Um, anyway, that's that's another video about about him. He hears things before people say things. So so here are the facts. So and I'm going to repeat it over. I, I know you've heard this uh, uh, just three seconds ago, but I'm going to repeat it just so that it just drills down in your mind. A ripple might be added to. KakaoPay, which is Korea's largest uh, messaging app. And anybody that has a Korean friend, the Korean forced you to download Kakao. Or, hey, I'm, I'm not your friend anymore, is, is what happened, right? Am I, am I right? But then, why Monero? Deeper dive into Kakao. Kakao is owned by Daum. D-A-U-M. Daum, you've never even heard of it, right? Daum. About five years ago, four years ago, eight years ago, Daum was a big. Daum was really big. Uh, moved to Jeju Island. Uh, that's that's kind of like... Um, uh, that's that's kind of like um, moving onto an island just outside of Redmond, Washington. Um yeah, I know Microsoft is way out there, but that's that's the kind of feeling that you get. <clears throat> Dom is not Korea's largest IT company. Dom is not Korea's version of Yahoo Japan. Dom is not Korea's version of Google. Now you're getting the picture. Who is Naver? Naver, you've heard of Naver. People in Europe have heard of Naver. People in South America and Africa have heard of Naver.com. And what messaging app do they own? Naver 
owns Line, and Line is really, really big in Japan. Okay, here's the spelling it all out point.、Uh, if Kakao does form a partnership with Ripple, you think Line will form a partnership with Ripple? All that having been said, these are all facts up till now. There's really no conjecture, right? These are all just facts,、uh, macro picture facts. Who's behind Kakao now? The company that owns Kakao is Dom. But who's behind Kakao financially? Now, this is very important who the drivers are. Fintech mega deal, Alibaba unit to invest $200 million in Kakao Pay. Korea's Kakao Pay. This was six months ago、uh, in cryptocoinnews.com. Six months ago, Alibaba. That's Chinese, isn't it? But guess what? Guess who the actual venture capital team is that's investing? Ant Financial. Ant fi- sound familiar?、Um, Ant Pool, Ant Shares. Are they the same company? No, they're not the same company, but does it matter? Especially since at the macro industry level, the Chinese government orchestrates everything. So Ant Financial is investing in Kakao. And Kakao's partnering with some blockchain solution. How likely is it that it would be Ripple, a non Chinese entity, when China is super busy making a clone of Bitcoin, making a clone of Ethereum, and now a clone of what's coin number three? So now that it's evident that Chinese money is Pushing and backing Kakao Pay. If, if Korea does use Ripple、uh, to power its、uh, Kakao Pay blockchain, chances are it'll be very short lived.、Uh, plus, the fact that we've already increased value to, well, 200% over the last couple days, almost 200% over the last couple days, on rumor. The moment news comes out, Sell on news, buy on rumor. Rumor is already out, it's over. So, even if, even if、uh, Ripple goes up further from here, the risk level is so high that you're better off taking your profits and just cutting and running right now. Short Ripple. Ripple is at 6,000 Satoshis right now. I'm not saying Ripple will not further appreciate in value. I'm just saying that the risk of it depreciating in value and just plummeting is higher now. With Ant Pool supporting. Just yesterday, Ant Pool just started mining Bitcoin Cash. With Ant Pool supporting Bitcoin Cash, with Ant Financial supporting Kakao Pay, with Ant Shares being manipulated by, by the devs, there's no question about it, to create a massive, thick support structure at 0, 1, It's a huge psychological number, remember? Ethereum was at 0.01 for the longest time. So, what does that mean? It's easy math. All we have to do is 10x ourselves to compete with Ethereum. It's, it's the most simple branding message you can send across. 010, if you buy under 010, you create this massive support structure. That's what Ant Shares is saying, Neo. With all this happening around you and knowing that everything at the macro industry level in China is coordinated and colluded. And,、uh, and there's no antitrust. There's no free market economy in China. Remember that. If Kakao really did get powered by Ripple, how long do you think that would last? And more importantly, the bigger question is bigger than Kakao's owner, Dalm, is Naver. Naver's comp- competing messaging app is Line. The bigger question is who's going to power Line? 
Wait, let's set that question aside because it presupposes, it assumes that Ripple will be Cacao's partner. If you look at existing, if you look at existing alliances, and you'll also you'll start to see how all this comes together now. Ripple's partner in Japan is Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi. It's the biggest bank in Japan. So Ripple has a stronger presence in Japan than it does in Korea, and China has a stronger presence in Korea than it does in Japan. So if you were to put a uh, a line messaging app, Korean also by neighbor, remember, uh, line cup or line coffee cup mug uh, right next to a uh, cacao coffee cup mug, uh, which into which mug would you pour Ripple coffee into? You'd put Ripple into the line cup, wouldn't you? It just fits better, especially with all this existing relationships with the Tokyo Mitsubishi Bank of Japan. And now that you know that China is very adversarial to American technology and American institutions, uh, and that China is backing cacao that is rumored to get Ripple uh, as its... Um, a blockchain engine, which is American, uh, things just don't fit right, do they? Okay, so we've walked down two paths. Let's walk down the path of, uh, as the last item that we're all expecting. That Ripple does partner with Kakao, which is funded by Ant Financial from China. Let's say that happens. How long do you think China will let that happen? How long do you think China will let that relationship persist? Will Korea make its own blockchain uh, version of Ripple? Will China? Bitcoin Cash happened. NEO happened, which was Antshare's. That having been said, I know that I'm painting a, a bleak picture for Ripple uh, as far as Ripple's relationship with Kakao, but uh, playing devil's advocate, uh, Ripple is actually a pretty good choice for Kakao if it wasn't for the Chinese conflict of interest with uh, Ant Financial, because Ripple has the largest, currently largest blockchain to bank um, structural relationships. What that means is, if Ripple does get integrated, <clears throat> what that means is that if Ripple does get integrated into Kakao Pay, Korea will instantly have access to the largest banks in Europe, in America, and in South America. So, from a network standpoint, Ripple does make sense. But again, how long will that relationship last when Korea can make those same relationships with those same banks? as their non-exclusive relationships, and Korea is backed by China. What would be fascinating to see is if Korea creates its own Ripple competitor backed by China. On that note, if you'd like to talk, and come to Korea. We've heard that there's a couple blockchain conferences, developer conferences happening in Korea. They're unannounced yet, so as soon as we get uh, wind of them, we'll let you know. Sign up uh, to be alerted at bitcoinseoul.org, and I'll send you a personal quick email, just one email, uh, that tells you when and where we're going to have uh, the next blockchain development workshop bootcamp conference in Seoul, Korea. It'd be cool to meet you. I mean, wouldn't it cool be I mean, wouldn't it be cool to have a blockchain developers conference in Korea? Every single thriving western entity or enterprise is going to face fierce competition from China. And it will be coordinated. 
and it will be coordinated and centralized by the Chinese government.